what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Running the scissors, I'm poking them down We turn the smiles into frowns You can't hop out the Alright, so Hey y'all, we got a new episode of Talk of the Town Today we have a special guest It's OG Steve-O, Chicago artist Okay, so you're from Chicago What part of Chicago? Up north, Rogers Park, to be exact Okay yeah. Okay all right, so I'm asking some questions. Just say the first thing that comes to your mind. We're gonna do rapid fire. Okay. Okay, so what's your sign? Aquarius. What sign do you hate? Yeah, my fault. <laughs> uh, you gotta answer that. Hey, I'm uh, I'm doing this interview. Okay, I'm from the car right back. Okay. Ah. Uh. Okay. Important calls. That must be your girlfriend. You had the answer. Uh, <laughs> I said. Okay, so um, what sign do you hate? I don't hate no sign, right? But what's your least favorite? I say Aquarius. Like, like I can't fuck with another Aquarius. Why? Like, Cause shit just be just toxic <laughs> and bad. Anytime I fuck with Aquarius, it just be bullshit every time. Like every time. Like it never fails. And I seem to don't. I don't ever learn my lessons. Cause I keep doing this shit. Okay. What's one song you know the, what's one song everybody know the words to, but you don't? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, Dreams and Nightmares be giving me sometimes. Like when they be in the club singing that shit, I just be mumbling sometimes. <laughs> you don't know the whole shit? No, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> okay, what's your favorite girl lingo? You know how girls got like slang words, like uh -huh. T and period? Do uh, you have a favorite girl lingo? And is. <laughs> <laughs> Same shit, okay, so one place you would like to live. One place I would like to live, probably like Houston or some shit. Anywhere in the world, you saying? Yeah. I'm gonna say that's your dream place. I don't know my dream place, <laughs> but like, it's like I'm a picky ass eater, so I know I'm not moving nowhere out the country because I'm not gonna be eating shit. So probably like right. Houston or Cali or some shit. That's cool with me. Cali food was valid to you? It's not valid, but <laughs> it's decent. I eat more shit if I'm living in Cali than if I move to like India or some shit. Type shit. You know what I'm mean? saying? Okay. Biggest pet peeve, what's something you hate? Biggest pet peeve, damn, what's the first? Oh, lying, I hate when people just lie, just for no reason, just always fucking lying. Like, why are you lying for? Like, That's a good one. Okay, favorite bar from you? Favorite bar? I'm gonna tell this bitch a lie before I tell the truth. But you just say you hate lies. You I see, know. that's why Isn't I asked that, that crazy? first. So you see how niggas lie. But anyways, <laughs> we're not even going to do that. Um, Hell no. <laughs> that was Thank a trick question. And he, he dated. Oh, okay, so moving along. A conspiracy theory you believe in or a conspiracy theory you think is real. Like aliens, planes. Bro, I feel like the government is controlling the weather. Okay. That, yeah, I, I, I believe that. Wholeheartedly, okay. like I hope they don't come looking for me and shit. But <laughs> it just shit just don't make at least in Chicago, cause shit just be weather just be changing random as fuck. It shit don't make no sense. Okay, and then what? What's the best non curse word insult? Like how you insult somebody without cursing? Oh. Or you don't do that. Best non curse word, cause I know I be cursing like a motherfucker. Like. I, I didn't see. I don't know. What's the best non-curse word insult? I don't know what the best non-curse word insult is. Damn, so be you honest, be cursing all the time? I curse a lot. I'm not going to lie. I do, Damn. I do be cursing. Okay. I don't know. I, maybe like how like the white people be like, you on thin ice, buddy. You do not say that. Please. <laughs> you do I like not when say a, that. I like when the white people be saying that shit, though. You on thin ice, pal. Okay. All right, and then what's something that can get your black card taken away? Like a movie you never saw, a game you don't know how to play? Uh. Hmm. Damn, what the fuck can get my black card revoked? You don't eat. I don't eat a lot of shit, though. But, like, I don't eat, like, stuffing and shit. Like, I don't eat, like, stuffing and shit like that or cranberry sauce and all that extra shit, like. I don't know. I don't eat a. I don't eat a. I don't, I don't eat none of that shit. Like that so I don't, I don't know think what. That's that bad. What the fuck again? My black card revoked. Oh, like I mean, like it's a lot of songs I don't know, like old school songs that everybody be knowing. But that's cause like my parents Nigerian, so I grew up listening to Nigerian music in the crib. I ain't grew up listening to all these other motherfuckers. Okay. Like you know what I'm so saying? You don't so know the throwbacks at the cookout. No, nah, hell no. Nah. They play that. They playing <laughs> that. If I go to like a black family reunion, I'm probably not gonna know none of that shit. All right, so. 
backstory your name. Is your real name Steve or no? My name is Steve Vaughn. So yeah, Steve O. People just call me Steve. My last okay. name started with an O, so Steve O. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And how'd you get started into music? I ain't gonna lie. A bitch had broke my heart. That's really what had made me just start rapping and shit, like, cause mm, okay. I need like I need to express myself. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you went to the studio. So what was your first studio session? When so that my... happened, you was in the crib. Oh, bro, like around that time, that was around the time like A Boogie was 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 turned, okay. like was real turned, okay. you know what I'm saying? So he was going through the, you know, exactly. He was going through the same shit that I was going through. So I was in the crib instantly. A Boogie type B, A Boogie type B, looking up all them bitches on bro. Okay, so so y'all know about A Boogie out in Chicago? I fuck with A Boogie okay. heavy, yeah, hell yeah. Who was lit in Chicago at that time when A Boogie was buzzing? That was like what, like 2016? Something like that, yeah. I mean, all, all them niggas was turned. Herb was turned. Dirk, yeah, Dirk like, was turned. Uh, Keith was already turned was already by lit. then. Right. So, like, did you listen to them growing up? All of them? Yeah, hell yeah. yeah I listened to all of them. Living in Chicago, did y'all, like, see them, like, shooting videos and, like, all that stuff? No, I'm from, the, I'm from the north. They all the way from out south, so I ain't never really ever bump into them. But, uh, oh, Young Pat. Young Pappy too. I don't know if you ever heard of Pappy. Yeah, okay, yes. yeah. So, so Pappy from the same neighborhood <laughs> that, that I'm from. Okay. Yeah, hell yeah. So I done bumped into him, seen him like real live, like just outside with um, his bandana on, headphones, rapping and yeah. shit. Like, if you know, you know. Some people not in tune though, you know. Yeah, and that's okay. just that's just they lost. Okay, so you went to the studio. You was heartbroken. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. You stayed in that pocket. Did you do more drill songs? No, I kind of, I kind of stepped away from doing like the heartbreak shit, and I started doing like, kind of like my version of drill. You know what I'm okay. saying? And I'm just, I just now got back into the shit for the the heartbreak and the shit for the ladies. Like maybe just a year ago, I got what, back. Into okay, that. your type of drill. What's that? Like, what's the? It's kind of like a like a soul drill type of thing. Like you mm. know what I'm saying? Like it's not. Gra, gra, boom, all that extra, you know, okay. that's the, you know, that's not okay. all that extra shit. I'm going to sing about violence, but I'm going to sing about that shit so beautiful. You're not even okay. going to know a motherfucker talking so like about no Rod violence. Wave type? Kind of like that, yeah. Kind of okay. like in that, kind of like in that, in that, in that pocket. Okay, but you still consider it drill. You don't consider yourself doing R&B or melodic. What, like currently right now? Well, when you was in that pocket. Oh, when I was in that pocket. Yeah, I want to say I was a drill rapper, though. I kind of would. I mean, it is drill, though, I guess, but I don't know. No, I'm saying, like, you said you, it's, you call it soul drill. Yeah. But I'm saying you wouldn't consider it R&B? Nah, I don't think so. Why? Because the type of beats? or the, Yeah, the probably. Vibes? Just probably the type of beat, but really just, like, what I'm talking about, too. Like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So what makes you, like, want to switch it up? It depends on how you're feeling. It depends on the season. Like... Yeah, really just the, the seasons and how I'm feeling, for real. If I go through some fucked up shit with a, with a lady, I'm probably going to, most likely, going to talk about that shit or other life shit, you know what I'm saying? One of my homies passed, I'm probably gonna talk about that shit. Really just about real life experiences, for real. Okay. So before music was the outlet, what, how was you coping before? Like how was you going through your times before? Uh, I was playing basketball and shit. I really thought I was gonna go to the NBA, for real. I ain't gonna hold you. That's everybody. Yeah, it's literally every nigga's, <laughs> every nigga literally got the same rap dream or hoop dream. Nigga stop okay. hooping and start rapping. Damn, so you didn't have no other, like, other plan that you want to do? Like, drawing? Nah. Know, like, uh, nothing else you was into? Nah, not for real. No, <laughs> okay. hell no. Nah. I like getting money, though. So I would have been mean, doing something where I would have, yeah. you know, while I'm trying to get a bag for yeah. real. But, did you um go to college? Yeah, I did go to college. Okay. And I graduated, too. Okay, that's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how was that? That shit was cool. That's why I started rapping at first. That's where I built, like, my butt, my foundation first. Okay. Like, like, my buzz was on college campus doing, like, open mics and shit like that. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you went to school, you mm -hmm. finished. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give kids that like thoughts on college and school and stuff? I well, for one, I say like going to college made me realize that college is not for everybody. For one, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But two, I also say like when there's a will, there's a way. Like if you want to get that shit done, you gonna get that shit done. Like you know what I'm saying. Like I was I was doing shows late as hell, getting back to the motherfucking taking two hour drives back on campus. Getting in at like 2 a.m. I had to be up by like 7 a.m. for a lab. It's like, and I wanted that shit, so I did it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if okay. you really want to do this shit, you can do this shit. Like, and what was your major in college? Uh, occupational therapy. So that's like kind of like physical therapy and shit. Okay. Uh -huh. So you have a degree for back on. I got a I got a good ass degree, but. So is that why you feel like your music is more soulful? Cause you really know, cause you, you know went what to saying? school. You know, I went to school. I'm, I'm 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 well articulated. So you're articulate, really a therapist you know to the people. You know what I'm saying? I'm really a therapist tuning. to the streets for real. That's, <laughs> That's really what I am. Okay, okay, okay. So, 
Right now, mm-hmm. um, who are you listening to? Um, I'm listening to a lot of motherfuckers. I'm listening to I'm listening to Kodak. I'm listening to Roddy back. I'm I'm fucking with this new Roddy Rich shit he got going on. Oh, you think Roddy's back? I think so. I'm not gonna lie. That last single mm-hmm. he just dropped, that shit was hard. I'm listening to that LOE Shimmy nigga, he hard. Love Shimmy, he, yep. He's yep. super hard. Uh it's okay. a rap in Chicago, uh Fat So, YFG Fat So, he, he hard. coming up too. Yeah, yeah he coming up, too. you know what I'm saying? I listen to my homies now. Okay. My brother Danny. Uh, uh, my, my other brother Juwan, I let, my, okay. my homie Denzel. I be listening to the guys, and I be listening to a couple, you know, other other, other motherfuckers. Okay, shit, so man. if someone never heard your music before, what vibe? I guess like what vibe would they have to be in to cut you on? Do you feel like you got car playing music? Uh-huh. You got vacation music? Uh-huh. Like what type of tunes? You I got? think I check off every single one of the boxes. Like you can ride to that shit. You know what I'm saying? All right, so late night car shit. ride. What uh-huh. song? What song we gonna play? Late like, night car ride depends. Like you with you with your girls, you with your man. You we with on your, our way to the function. We on our way, way to the party. We on our way to the function. Wedding rings. Boom. We're gonna turn them off. Fuck up. You know All what right. I'm saying? All well, right. 56 bars gonna turn them off. Fuck up. I'm on that bitch rapping my ass off. <laughs> All right. Um. She's how long day I work. She winding down. She's drinking. Uh, what what type of tunes would you play? Okay, she winding down. I probably what, say one of your songs though. Nobody right. I will probably say she probably listen to uh, probably listen to So Far Gone. I might get in her feelings a little bit, but that's going. You <laughs> okay. know what I'm saying? That's a good unwind song. Okay. So, and the you know being an artist, mm-hmm. people want y'all for all many different things. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you know um a lot of rappers say being a rapper is dangerous. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like that's true? Yeah, hell yeah, because I feel like a no lot of these... No matter what type of music you make, or it depends? No, I feel like it don't matter what type of music you make. Some music is going to be more dangerous than others, but I feel like when you just a... Even if you're not rapping, when you just a nigga with a platform, niggas always got a point to prove, or want to... Niggas always want to do shit for clout, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So you just got to be... You just got to be conscious of that shit, you know? Okay. And how are you um, staying safe out here, I guess? Well, I mean... I'm with my homies them all the time, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And and that shit be near, you know what I'm saying? Shit be near, like, you know? <laughs> you don't got to say too much. Hey, no, you, know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't got to say too much. Okay, so you in New York right now. How uh-huh. you like, you like New York? I fuck with New York, though. I ain't going to hold you. I definitely fuck with New York. It's not better than Chicago, but it's decent, though. Do you feel like we be copying y'all? For sure, 100% fact. I feel like Chicago, the culture, that's how I feel. And y'all kind of just... You but know, PP y'all, just y'all, said y'all. for sure that's New York lingo, though. But that's yeah. not no New York lingo, though. We've been <laughs> saying that shit. That's the thing. That's the thing. Y'all start, y'all, because y'all spell it the different motherfucker way now. <laughs> now as y'all came up with that shit, no, we really be coming up with all that shit. Y'all just be, y'all be stealing that shit. You call me stealing? I think paying homage is like Okay, a... that's cool. Okay, paying homage is cool. We can say y'all paying homage. As long as y'all admit that y'all paying homage, y'all not coming up with this I shit think, on the fly. Yeah, I think we add a different source than y'all. I think I'll New fuck York, New York, but y'all definitely, y'all definitely Y'all got your own, uh, y'all got your own lingo and shit too. Y'all lingo, y'all lingo and shit be raw too, on bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I fuck with that shit, that dead ass shit on my mother <laughs> shit. That shit be, that y'all shit got, be y'all got valid lingo too though. Okay, so um, did you work with any New York artists yet or no? I work with um, I had I had this some shit with uh, set the trend from like two years ago. Okay. That shit was decent. I was I had went to the it Bronx and shit, no? shot a video, huh? It came out. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You went to the Bronx? Yeah, I'm bro. Okay, so yeah, you was in the, the trenches. trenches. Yeah, I was in the trenches. All right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, any New York artists you want to work with or that you work with? Um, I don't know what that what a Wolf Face Joey nigga from. He's from, from he's New York. He's from Jersey? New York. Yeah, he's from he Staten hard. Island. He hard. He hard. Yeah. Um, Kenzo be hard too. Yeah. Yeah, she be going. Okay, crazy. you went to him. Did, did you work with any girls yet or no? Like period? Yeah. Not low key, not for real. Like I haven't even I don't even have a song released with any girl. Do you really. listen to female artists? Uh yeah. Okay, who you listen to? I listen to Mellow Bucks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Obviously she's from Chicago. Who else you listen to though? If who anybody else? else. I be listening to like Scissor and shit like that, you know what okay. I'm saying? R&B like girlies. Summer Walker and shit, you All know right. what I'm saying? Okay. So you listen to the R and B girlies. Mm-hmm. You don't got a song with a girl yet, but you always got girls in your videos. I do, and I love girls. <laughs> okay, so um, so what's the dating scene like for you right now? The dating scene for me right now is like I'm just doing what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like the date. It's like it's like Chicago dating is so funny. Like, you know what I'm saying? You would think this bitch right here is for you, but she literally got like ten other niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes you just gotta just find a bitch you like. You gotta find a woman you like. 
They just gotta beg her to, to, to behave and just act right. Like beg sometimes. her to you behave and act right. Got it. And bro, so you feel like nothing really is wifey material? No, nah, hell no. Nah. Like I just pay I just pay for this girl I fuck with. I just paid for her hair the other day and I just said, Look, I'm gonna pay for this hair. Just don't be sending no nigga faces with this hair I pay for. Like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta That's give nice a disclaimer of sometimes. <laughs> That's nice of you. You know and what I mean? Okay, so you be spending money too. Yeah, I spend money on a girl. I like if I fuck with you, I I'm definitely gonna spend. All right, so some what's money. the most you spent on a girl? Uh, I don't know, like a couple hundred. Couple hundred. Yeah, what, probably like hundred thousand. No, nah, hell no. Oh, I'm about no. to say, what the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> Jeez, come on, hundred thousand. So like, nah, so like no. six, eight hundred. Yeah, like six, like eight. Like, I get a bitch a, a nice little bag or pay for her hair, and nails, okay. and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's nice. Yeah. All right, so do you feel like you're romantic though? I feel like I'm very romantic. Okay, what's the, the most romantic thing you did? Um. Okay, you know, like, like the candle lit. Okay, so look, so look, so look, so look. Damn, I'm finna be telling on myself because this is so recent. I just came back from Nigeria, like maybe like two months ago, right? Mm-hmm. I got this girl I'm fucking with, mm-hmm. so I had told her I'm finna take her out to mm-hmm. a restaurant. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna okay. pick her up, all that shit, get dressed, whatever. Mm-hmm. But I really got like a raw ass Airbnb and decorated that bitch with the okay, rose nice. petals reading up to the door. Then I put the rose petals on the table. Nice. Then I cooked the meal myself. You oh, know you what I'm saying? Cook. I be oh, so chefing. you cook too? I be chefing. Oh, you know what wow. I'm saying? I, Bought the roses, I cut the rose at the bottom, put the okay. bitch in the vase and everything, you know okay. what I'm saying? Then I put the rose petals on the bed and then and then I spelt her name out with all her favorite like snacks and shit. Like it's just small little cute little shit okay. like that. You know what I'm saying? Details matter. You know what like, I'm saying? Details matter. Yeah. Like give them notes. All right, so that happened. Mm-hmm. Okay, but this is not your girl though. No. So why are you single? <laughs> like I'm trying uh, to understand, like what's 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 the problem here? I don't know. At this point, I'm starting to think it's me. At at, at this point, I don't yeah. know. I think right now I'm just having my way right now. So it's like I'm just not trying to. I ain't trying to be. Well, I don't want a motherfucker to put them handcuffs on me. You know what I'm saying? Like. Okay. So so what I'm saying is like, what's the separation? Like, my girl only gets this, but y'all could get that. Mm-hmm. Like that's what I'm saying. Cause that's some girlfriend shit. Like, yeah. So it's like. But she also she also really the only girl I'm talking to right now for real though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's not another motherfucker like. Okay. You know, so okay. I mean, it's a separation. That's my girl, my girl, my girl can get. I buy this bitch wigs and pay for the install. You know what I'm saying? I buy her designer shit. Okay. Me, and you just fucking around. I might pay like, I might pay for you to get some braids in your head. Okay. You know what I'm saying? She gets like, something. I might pay for crazy. a meal. I might pay for a meal here and there. Okay. Maybe grab you like some mics, a hundred dollar, two hundred dollar shoes, but you're not getting no motherfucking ricks out of me or nothing. Like. Okay. So All it right. just gotta make sense, you know. Okay. All right, so, so how are, so you, everybody saw the Drake, Kendrick mm-hmm. situation. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts on like rap beef? I feel like rap, I feel like that rap beef should just be gimmicky and just goofy, to be honest. And I don't really pay attention to that shit because that shit don't, that shit don't make me no motherfucking paper. So I don't really give a fuck about other niggas. So you think beef. it's all for like numbers that and shit marketing all and for, shit? That shit is all gimmicky, bro. Like that shit is all goofy So you don't shit. think they really got smoke? You think they in the back and ends chatting it up? Like, I feel like if these niggas see each other in person, they gonna dap each other they up? probably going to dap each other up. And now we, everybody on the internet is going so fucking crazy over this goofy <laughs> shit. Okay, do you think that's good marketing or bad marketing, though? I think it's goofy shit. So, I don't, I don't. I'm talking about in the marketing aspect. I like mean, I guess it's cool. Business. It's cool. It's cool marketing. It's sales, right? It's making their sales go up and shit. Yeah. Kendrick got like a number one song right now. And the last time he had a number one song, so yeah, it's, been it's, it, it's making sense for him. Uh huh. So yeah, I guess it's pretty decent marketing. Okay, so do you feel like? So do you feel like any of it be real? I like feel like Chicago I feel like, is I feel real like, to I feel, y'all. No, no, no. Some of that shit be real. Like the shit in Chicago be real. I feel like that shit in New York be real too. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not really too much knowing though. But I feel like that shit be real, cause niggas be having smoke with their cousins and shit. Like for real. Like you know what I'm yeah. saying? So I think that shit be. Real. I know Chicago that shit be real. Cause niggas be actually yeah. dying behind that shit. Like. Yeah. And y'all laws is different than our laws. So it's real, but it's like. Yeah, a baby can get a gun in Chicago. Huh? A baby can get a gun in Chicago. Damn, it's just. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, New York, it's like, do you really want to go to jail? Do you really want to get caught up? We got street cameras everywhere. Like, it's, it's Niggas just be getting stabbed and shit out here. That's kind of, yeah. Like, the train gets crazy. So if a nigga see they op out here, what they going to do? They, gonna, they just going to box it out? It's a slap box or some shit? Before, it was mad fighting, yeah. Now it's kind of the nonsense. Some people still be having shit on them. Mm-hmm. But 
So in Jersey, I think you could kind of get away with it. So mm-hmm. you see a lot of a lot of artists got into shit in Jersey, mm-hmm. so they wouldn't go through the New York laws. Mm-hmm. If you get what I'm trying to say. So I don't know. It's like. So they Once bump into each other in New York and be like, matter of fact, let's go take this ride to Jersey and quick to the bump. Listen, I don't it, I think it depends on how safe the beef is, because niggas gonna really blow on each other. You see niggas in jail right now. Uh-huh. So. And then so it gets real. It gets real over here. Don't make us seem soft now. No, 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 I'm not on that. I'm not on that. <laughs> I'm just saying Chicago is like it get real over there, like, you know? Okay. Like, it get real. We like, know we see. Okay. <laughs> Do you um so what was the craziest has you read comments? Yeah, I be reading comments, yeah. What, have you ever seen a crazy comment about yourself? Hell yeah. What the fuck a motherfucker told me? A motherfucker said some shit. Like, I used to get bullied in eighth grade or some shit like that. A motherfucker choked the bug out of me or some crazy shit like that. Like, people just be saying the dumbest shit. Like, <laughs> Are you I seen a motherfucker. I, 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 nah, I used to comment back on my YouTube and shit until my <laughs> homies them told me, like, bro, you don't see these other rappers commenting. You just gotta just have tough skin okay. and just and just take this and just take that shit so yeah. i just i seen a motherfucker t- said i sold my soul to illuminati or some shit like that all type of goofy dumb ass shit yeah, i feel like thinking every rapper did that yeah, i don't know shit i wish i had sold my soul to illuminati money shit oh please moving along so um what are you working on right now our uh, album um, bro i'm gonna drop my first album like my first full extensive pro- project okay. yeah. how long was you working on this I feel like I feel like I kind of always been geared up working working on it, like you know what I'm saying, like. Mm-hmm. But I probably just put the everything together probably like, maybe like a couple months ago. But I got songs in there from years ago, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I always been working towards it, even okay. though I didn't know I was working towards it. You okay. Know? So how did you decipher what's gonna be on the album and what's not? Uh, well, me, my managers, uh, label help, and mm-hmm. stuff like that. We all kind of just put a list together of the songs, unreleased songs they like, mm-hmm. and majority of our songs were literally all the same songs so oh, okay. that kind of was like so easy. it was like a team so how did you meet your team though um so i fuck with no more heroes in chicago right now uh mm-hmm. one of the owners he's nigerian as well so we kind of just been around each other just because okay. the nigerian community in chicago is so small everybody kind of yeah. know each other okay so nice. that's kind of how we first got around each other uh-huh. so you met them and then he introduced you to everybody else uh-huh okay so what made you else. so what made you want to lock in though they were just doing everything like I like I could tell that they actually appreciate the music, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know mm-hmm. a lot of these motherfuckers be want to go for the motherfucker with the most cloud and yeah. doing the most numbers. That shit mm-hmm. is like bullshit, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like you gotta actually get out in the field and see what the talent is. And I feel like they did just that. Okay. Do you feel like the pressure of making like a TikTok song or stuff like that, or you kind of create at your own? I kind of just, I, you kind of, you kind of like, you can't force this shit. Like, you just gotta do. I just gotta do what I do, and eventually, one of them songs gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like all these people who shit blew on TikTok, they probably didn't make a TikTok song. They yeah. just made regular shit that they make, and then that shit just blew. If you mm-hmm. put that pressure on yourself, you just added on extra pressure that just don't need to be there. It's already enough pressure with life and shit. You know? Okay. Was there any pressure in making this project? Or you, t- you feel like you really took your time with this? or like what's Hell the- yeah, I feel like I really took my time with this shit. Ain't no pressure. This shit kind of easy. Okay, so this is easy for you. Yeah, this shit is, this shit is light work. <laughs> okay. All right, so um, any features on the project? Uh, I got KB Mike on there. Yeah. I might have mm-hmm. another two uh, features on there, but I don't really want to say, say too much. Right now, no. Okay. Do you have a release date? Yeah, sometime in August. So he don't want to, uh, can we get a date? No tea? Okay. The second week of August. Second week of August? Yeah. Okay, something along that week. <laughs> okay, Um. so it's definitely going to be like before the summer, well, during the summer. Yeah, like. Type, towards maybe the like end, August. maybe yeah, going back to fall. Fall, yeah, you know what I'm saying. All right, so you didn't feel, you don't, do you have, do you feel like everybody tries to make a big thing about having a summer song uh-huh, or uh-huh. a summer hit. Uh-huh. Do you feel like you was working on one or you feel the pressure to make one or you kind of just letting the summer go? Like, how you, how you going about music right now? Well, we putting a project together, so you know, so yeah. I'm rolling out singles right now right for now. the project. Yeah. So I ain't really too much like, I need a summer song, you right. know So I'm just focusing on getting these songs out for the project. But I just dropped a song called Meet Me Downtown. And I feel like that's a good summer song. Like, you'll listen to it in the car with your little girlies and y'all gonna catch a vibe. <laughs> okay, we're gonna catch a vibe. Uh-huh. All right, do you feel like, what song do you feel like is the song of the summer right now, creeping up? 
I like I like that top is mine by Eloise Shimmy. I feel like that shit. Mm. I feel like that shit is gonna move. That shit gonna move, move the summer. Um, Melo got a song called Move. Mm-hmm. That shit got Chicago in a fucking frenzy. Bitches right on now. top of Kaiba, kind of <laughs> crazy shit. Mm-hmm. Um, what's that Kehlani song? Oh uh, yeah, by the Jordan that guy. Shit, he just came out. Yeah. Hard. That shit hard. Yeah. Kehlani's supposed to be getting on a remix. I heard. But um. Yeah, so yeah, it's a couple of songs moving right now. Mm-hmm. So the album is dropping in mm-hmm. August. No date yet. Couple features. Couple features. Um, so what was the inspiration behind this? The album really is about like love, loss, heartbreak. You know what I'm saying? Like depression. You feel like you're a lover boy because you I feel like about love I feel like girls for I feel like I am a lover boy. I feel like it's kind of. I feel like you know like. It's cool to be a lover boy. Like it's cool to love on your person out loud and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like so that's just what I be on. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. So definitely a lot of that in this Mm -hmm. project. Um, I guess. What else do you want to tell the people? Let the peoples know. Uh. Follow me on Instagram everywhere, OG Stevo. And about that lover boy thing, I feel like I'm a lover boy, right? To mm-hmm. a certain extent, like, you know what okay. I'm saying? You show you me. Still be on that, you know bro. what I'm saying? Like, cause like, I feel like whatever you bring to me, I'm gonna amplify. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You bring me dirt, I'm gonna give you a motherfucking garden. You know what I'm saying? You bring okay. me water, I'm gonna give you a motherfucking water fountain. But if you bring me shit, I'm gonna give you the whole sewer. So I'm a lover boy, but shit not sweet. Like, if you get to acting crazy, I will still fuck these hoes on you still. You know what I'm saying? She okay. just got to make sense, you know what I'm saying? All right. So I was watching this podcast one time, uh-huh. and then the guy was like, if if you lo- if I'm cheating on my girl or my friends is cheating on their girl, because if one of y'all is being loyal, that mm-hmm. means you telling your girl uh-huh. that what we doing. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I feel like birds of a feather flock together on B. If your friends is hoes, I know you's a hoe too. I know it. I just know you is. Okay. Like, come on, you're not finna tell me it's five of y'all and four of them is hoes and you the only one that's just not a hoe? Bitch, you must think I was born yesterday. <laughs> Damn, so like, she, she could have one hoe friend? Everybody has one hoe friend. One, one, what, what they say, one rotten apple spoiled a bunch. That hoe shit gonna rub off. Yo, what? This shit, ru- yes, it's gonna rub Everybody off. Everybody has one hoe friend, bro. Like every girl has at least one whole friend. They might not kick it with her every day, uh-huh. but because like, when like she think about like turn this up, though, like she's gonna call her whole friend. Okay, so you got your whole friend, right? You know, like if you know your friend be fucking a lot, right? Is you finna tell this bitch like, damn, I'm not gonna lie, like you low key be fucking a lot a little bit. Some people do. Some people don't. Some people don't. Some people do. One, <laughs> hey, listen. I can't see everybody. One hole, they one hole, they all hoes. Go get you some church. Go get you. Go go hang out with some nuns or something. Get you some church friends. So who do you hang out with? Cause what? I hang out with the gay. Are they them. nuns? Are they at church? Are they ushers? Are they pastors? Like what? We not. That's that's not the movement we pushing though. That's what I'm saying though. You know what I'm saying? Okay. My my homies girls don't even like them coming around me because they know what I be getting into. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so and you're they the right problem. So you're that. the whole friend. I'm not gonna say I'm the whole friend. Okay. But I say I'm 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 like <laughs> what? I, I'm, a, I'm just one of the friends. I'm just a good yeah, friend. I'm yeah, a good I'm, friend. Listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> like, he's stuck over there. Anyways, <laughs> I will on the way. He's the, he's the lover boy, y'all. I'm the hood Romeo. So we got to watch this one. <laughs> but yeah, so tell people where to find you. How can they tune in? Find me on Instagram, OG Stevo, no underscore, none of that. O G S T E V O. Uh, TikTok, the same thing. Twitter, the same thing. And you be on Twitter? Yeah, I be on Twitter, but I don't be on it like that because Twitter dry as hell now for some reason. So I go on there and just look, see what my little hoes is tweeting about, and then get get off that motherfucker. Type shit. Okay. So yeah, follow him on everything. 